Hey everybody, so me and Twilight, Twilight, apparently she doesn't want to say hi to you guys, but <laughs> so Twilight and I are going to be doing a, another barn vlog today, and we are, are you going to say hi yet? We are going to give you guys um, our favorite top five winner, like horse hats. So my first one, I'm actually going to leave her to her devices for a minute. My first one is I usually end up what I groom. I like to put Twilight's tail in a tail bag and like braid her tail. But before I do, I put this uh, split end remedy leave-in conditioner by Tresemme in her mane and tail. And it pretty much helps. Don't lick the, floor, the ground like that. There's probably ice melt there. It's not good for you. Don't do that. I'll put you back in your stall. Don't do that. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it's supposed to help her tail grow longer. So with the Arabians, um, they like to see a really long, like flowy, crazy tail. And some of the one, some of the horses that I've ridden, because I started out riding saddle seat with the Arabians. Um, the or saddle seat horses, their tails are like super long to the point where like if you go to back up, they step on it, which I think is kind of obnoxious. But um, yeah, so <laughs> that's been like one of my favorite winter hacks. Um, it keeps the like the conditioner itself kind of keeps like if you don't have a tail bag, keeps the ice from building up on the end of the tail and stuff. It's really Awesome. I like to use coconut oil too, as well as the conditioner. I just happen to find that the trust me works really well for Twilight. Um, and my other, my second hack, so hack number two, is I like to pick out her feet really good, and then use like a cooking oil. You can use coconut oil, corn oil, canola oil, olive oil. Basically, basically as long as you can cook with it or it's edible, you can use it. Um, I just make sure the hoof is cleaned out really really well put that on and then I can turn her out I can even ride and the ice and the snow doesn't build up really bad in her feet and if she does get any build up it just slides right out um I'm trying to think hack number three so number three would be like lots and lots of water like I cannot tell you how many times I've had to bring water down to Twilight. I actually have been bringing it down three times a day. Um, she actually drinks really well for an Arabian. Normally the Arabians don't drink nearly as much as the other breeds. Um, just because they're, they're desert horses. They don't need it as much. Um, they're kind of like camels, I guess. So I guess, uh, something to do with their cells where their cells, um, retain fluid a lot better than like other breeds. Um, that's actually one of my favorite things about the Arabians to be honest. So I can go to horse shows and not worry that my dark colored horse is going to overheat and like have a major issue. So, um, I, for right now, I bring this backpack and I have this, it's like a 20 pound cat litter jug that I cleaned out and then I put a plastic bag over it just because they're not airtight so um, I don't have running water in my barn so lots of lots of water and I find that Twilight likes her water like I actually take the water temperature <laughs> as like crazy as that sounds um, I find that she really likes it like around 35 to 40 degrees and um, it she drinks more of it that way. Um, another thing that you can do with your water is add like electrolytes and make sure that they have like a salt and a mineral block. Um, I actually don't have one right now. I have to go and get new ones. I do the Himalayan rock salt pieces. So I'll just do like a little chunk and then stop it. You're weird. And then I do one of the small mineral block that you would put down into a holder, but I put them in her feed tub because she eats too fast and chokes. So, <clears throat> so that's number three. Number four. So, <laughs> one of the big things that I find um, much of the time 
is your amount of hay. So like on your really cold days, here in New York, we get some like super, super cold days where <laughs> I actually about a week ago had to deal with, I think it was like negative 10 in the barn, in the barn. And even though I have like an open barn, it still stays pretty warm. Um, the airflow is not like huge, so I don't have a ton of wind. But outside, it felt like it was like negative 30. It was really cold. So upstate New York is known for that. So what I do, I'll actually show you with my hay, how much I give her. So I actually do about two to three flakes, about this much here, um, for a normal day. So like today, it's only 40 degrees out, so I would give her that. Um, now... If it was really cold, I would add an extra, like, I'd double it. So, i double her hay intake on days where it's cold, and I, I give her hay twice a day. Um, and I keep her inside when it's really cold like that, and then I blanket really well. Um, she's got three different blankets, a light, a medium, and a heavy. And I usually do the medium and the heavy on together with her shoulder protector. And I find that it works pretty well for me. Um, now, my fifth hack, or well, actually, I'm going to add to the fourth one. So, I don't feed grain to Twilight anymore. But, even though I don't feed her grain, uh, when I do, if I do, see, like, right now, she's, I have some issues going on with her paddock, so she's been inside a lot. Um... To see who was going up my driveway. She, what I do is I give her about half a scoop of grain. So, well, it's still twilight. Don't kick me. I know. I almost slipped and fell. Jeez. Maybe you should go back in the stall so you don't fall. Okay. So, I don't know if I showed everybody in one of my other videos, but I feed the Do More Equi Stages. And you can see. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can get you in the light. So you can kind of see the lines. The bottom line is one quart. So I give her about a quart of pellet. And then I do about a quart of hay stretcher. And then she gets a quart of... Um, now, okay, so my hay stretcher is also a Dumar product. And I get it in the pellets, not the cubes. Um, and then I do... Beet pulp by Midwest Argy, Ar, Argy, or yeah, whatever. It's <laughs> it's um. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh. But it's got molasses in it, and it's um. I make a hot mash with it. So on really cold days, like the other day, I did feed her a hot mash because. It was so cold, and I just kind of wanted to warm her up a little bit. Um, she does have a tendency to get super, super cold because her hair is, like, really thin. Um, so, those are just some things, like, make sure you're, like, on a really good, like, schedule. And, like, I feed a hot mash uh, just kind of as a, a booster. Like, she boosts, boosts the sugar in the beet pulp and stuff. I find that the heat and the sugar together just kind of gives her an extra boost and then she kind of feels the need to really pack in the hay. Um, also with your hay, you can put it in a hay bag. Um, I'm actually looking into getting a slow feed hay net. Uh, that way on really cold days she eats slower and it keeps her body going. As long as the roughage and stuff is going through her body, it's going to create heat and her body temp is going to be constant. So that's kind of a little hack I found. Um, now my fifth one, that's the fifth one, right? Yeah. So my fifth one is, okay, so this is a jug of water, a Gatorade bottle from my husband. Thank you, hubby. <laughs> Full of water. It's a little yellow looking because it came out of my coffee pot to make it really hot, but I just dump it over top of my bit. So like I start in the middle and just kind of let it fan out and it'll warm up your bit before you put it in your horse's mouth. I find that Twilight will not take the bit if it's really cold. So I warm it up. 
a lot of horses are out like that. I actually know a lot of people that have different tricks for it. I know um, somebody... Somebody I watch on YouTube. Cannot remember for the life of me who it was. Um, likes to take a heat pack that has like corn or like rice in it. Heat it up and kind of wrap it around your bit. And it's supposed to warm your bit up. So those are our five hacks. And Miss Twilight and I are going to go for our ride. And she's going to be less grumpy, I hope. Hi, yes. You I being kind of grumpy. I hate to tell you. Yes, you are. Mares. I... Oh, what? Really? No snuggles from my girl? Yeah, I thought maybe. Come here. Stink weed. Oh, you're so mean. Come here and love me. Thank you. <laughs> She's being a stinker. What can I say? So, we're going to go have some fun so she's not so apt to be mad at me. But, alright, so I'll catch up with you. I actually wanted to do the unboxing video first, but I have items on back order, and they didn't get here yet. So I've been waiting extra long, and I don't like that. So I'm going to have to call them and find out what's going on. Uh, so yeah, other than that. Catch me on Instagram because I'm sure there will be feeds from my ride today. And when my hubby's home, then I'll have him videotape me riding one day here soon, I hope. But until then, catch everybody later. Thanks for watching.